what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so as you see i have casper here with me this thing has been out of the picture for a year as a matter of fact it was this week a year ago that john wilborn myself and my brother tried to set out to go see uncle tony of uncle tony's garage and it kicked a rod out of the side of the block so if you've been following my story on project mixed up boss you know that we pretty much got it ready to go to the dyno so you can't put 750 horsepower in a stock f100 and expect good things to happen so the purpose of this video is to talk about what we've got to do to this truck to get it ready for that kind of power um you know 600 horsepower was pretty much pushing it uh the main thing is going to be moving the fuel tank from out behind the seat in the stock location and actually putting it in the rear of the truck here so we get better weight distribution and guys i'll tell you what i'm almost embarrassed about how bad this truck looks i got to give a huge shout out to my racing buddy jason richards for bringing casper home we moved to a different place and this had been over at my old house and so i finally have it here so i can work on it in the spare time that i have so that's what i'm going to be doing is trying to get this thing ready so that once we do get the engine dynoed i can just swap it out the first order of business is getting that old junk out of there the blew up 393 but some of the things that we got to talk about got to do that fuel system and make sure that it's up to snuff to support the kind of power that mixed up boss is going to make second thing when this truck was running with 393 it was running 730s in the eighth mile which is on the border of needing a roll bar to be legal so i know with the new engine it's going to really need a good roll bar inside of it the kicker for me is putting a roll bar in it that looks period correct and something that doesn't take away from the aesthetics and something that will still protect me in case this 4,000 pound beast decides to barrel roll at the top end of the track which leads to another issue the weight of this truck the last time i raced this truck this thing weighed 4,080 pounds with me in it so one of the goals is to see how much weight we can get out of casper without really cutting it up a whole lot i know it's going to be tough to do but it needs to be done because taking away weight is the same as adding horsepower and i want this thing to run as fast as it possibly can so that it can deliver respectable numbers um so we've got a long ways to go and we got a lot to do so you're going to be seeing a lot more of casper coming up and to all of my new viewers who haven't seen casper casper's 1971 f100 and i made a little slideshow video just so that you guys can see the progression of this thing being built the first go around and all the things that i did there's a lot of footage on here that's never been on youtube as far as the dyno with david Bizard. so yeah i hope you enjoy it so i've got to get this junk out of here tomorrow and hopefully get this thing prepped get it ready for mixed up balls here in the next month or so so until next time, this is Andy from Unity Motorsports Garage. I'll catch you later. 